Hi, today I'm going to introduce you to memory bits that's used in PLC programming. Hi, my name is Craig Mashad. I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about memory bits. Memory bits are something that we, we put in place of outputs so that we have more uh, opportunities to use the outputs for physical attributes rather than just uh, using them for coils and things of that nature. So uh, let's get into the video. All right, we're going to create a start stop. I'm going to get in here. We're going to add this. Going to down our coil. We're going to do our hold. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is create a couple other rungs as well. Here, like this. And then this way here, so with a, with a memory bit, what we can basically do is kind of control our outputs. So by creating this circuit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down, we're gonna, we're just gonna control lights. Um, get another rung here. Oh, wrong one. And what I'm going to do is I'll just, I'm going to build up this circuit quick and then I'm going to explain, you know, more on the memory bit. So, okay, so we're going to go through just like we do everything else, you know, again, just something to kind of keep in mind, you know, we're building out a motor control circuit, you know, we have our start and our stop. So we're going to, we're going to use this address as our input. Okay, this is our input. So we'll call this input zero, zero. We'll make this one input zero, one. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is instead of this, in previous videos, we would have made this a coil, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this a memory bit. So we're gonna just tap M, which will give us M zero. Now, memory bits are something that, you know, work in place of the output so that we're not using it as often, okay? So what we're doing is we're just adding the memory bits in. And again, this would be M0 because remember this is, this is, and again, I'm gonna call it a coil, but it's really not a coil. It's just more like a placeholder. So what we'll do is we'll set this up here. And we're going to make this also a stop. And then we're going to call this one here. This will be another button, which, you know, we can call this a jog button, so to speak, nothing too fancy. Okay. And then this one here, okay, this one here, we're going to use this as an output. Okay. So this will be an output. This will be actually a coil that we'll be using kind of like in a jogging situation, okay? So what we'll do is as we have this here, you know, I'm kind of skipping around a little bit, but it just makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna make this M0 because we want this normally closed light to be on when this memory bit is not pulled in, okay? And we'll come over here and we're gonna call this, this is gonna be our output for our light. So we'll call that M1, or excuse me, Q1. And then over here, we're gonna label this Q0, okay? And then we'll call this one here Q2, okay? So what we'll do at this point here, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test this project. Takes a little bit. We've got to open up the simulator. You know, and and basically what we're doing here is, you know, in in this case here, we're using we're just kind of using some lights. You know, I didn't label anything this time. Um, but what I want you guys to understand is is in other projects or in the previous videos. So if you haven't checked out my previous videos on creating a circuit or just on how to use sew machine, um, you know, please, you know, check those videos out. Uh, I'm sure I'll leave a card somewhere. But the nice thing is with this here, you know, we would have to have 
four outputs if we use the coil, but I was able to only use the three outputs and those are lights with no coil because internally in the controller, the memory bits actually work like coils, but they're really not. So it kind of confines things. You know, there's a lot of memory bits that are in the units itself that, you know, by programming it this way, we're using less output. So you don't need a huge controller to control a lot of coils. You can only, you know, you may only need a short, smaller amount. And when you think of cost of the PLC program, that's definitely something, um, excuse me, not the PLC program, but using the PLC as, you know, the device that's going to control your unit automatically. I mean, that's something you definitely want to think about because, you know, if you're dealing with a unit that could cost you, you know, two, three, 400 bucks, uh, but you have, you know, 17 outputs, well, now you got to get a bigger controller. That thing could cost you anywhere from 800 to a thousand dollars. So basically what we have here is we've got the stop button closed. Okay. And we're going to come down here and we're going to click our one button or our input one. And you can see how the memory bit is closed and our red light went off. Okay. But if I come over here and I click the second output, it just jogs basically. Okay. We're using the coil. All right. So I'm going to show you the, another aspect of it. This here, we used a coil to control this output and we actually had to use three outputs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this down. I'm gonna show you another trick because as, as I showed here with the memory bit, like I said, I'm introducing you guys to the memory bits. What we're gonna do is instead of making this a coil, we're gonna readdress this as another memory bit. I'm going to call this M1, and we're going to come down here. We're going to take this M, uh, M or Q0, and we're going to make this one also M1. Okay, and we'll leave these, you know, Q1 and Q2 because they're two different lights. So what we'll do is now I'm going to reset. Now I'm going to reset the simulator. Launch it. Uh oh. We have a bit of an issue here. So what we will do is we're going to disconnect, even though we're not hooked up to anything. For some reason, this configuration is not playing nice. Let's just drag this over here. Yeah, we want to change it. Here, go back to the program. All right, so now we had three, three outputs here. Now we only have two. So when we launch the simulator again, Run it. We're going to come over here. We're going to close our stop button just like we did before. Our light is on. Okay. And it can be any color light. It doesn't have to be red light. We're going to press our button. We're going to turn off our red light. Okay. Now we've got that held. Okay. If I come over here and I hit two, that there works as a jog button, jogging whatever output we're using. Okay. You just Turn it on, turn it off. If I was to go back and hit my stop button, my red light or my light would come back on because I have a normally closed output here. And if I want to use this second input, I can't get it to work because I don't have my stop button engaged. Okay, so we got to stop, get the stop button engaged. And then we can do the output, run it and turn on that other output, you know. So again, this is just a small introduction to memory bits. Um, it's nothing too fancy. Um, I am going to build, I am going to create a larger project using more memory bits. 
Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to introduce this to you is this is just the next step in understanding how to use this program and, and different ways to make it easier. Uh, one of the things that you're going to want to understand is that more often than not, there's an easier way to do it with the PLC. Okay, so everything that we have learned in basic motor controls where we're physically wiring normally open and normally closed buttons and we're turning on coils or eight pin relays and, and energizing coils and using different outputs here and there, you know, with the PLC, there's a little bit more into it as far as programming aspect of it, but there's a lot less wiring that goes into it. And again, like I said, I'm going to create a lot of these tutorial videos. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on building out projects based on um, wiring the PLCs to explain that aspect as well. So I'm going to get through this first series of videos going over how to set up the program. And then we'll go through another set of videos on actually how to use wire the PLC and use it as well. So I hope you learned something on memory bits today. Again, this is a short little video. Um, you know, I've got another video that's going to be coming out in a few more days that's going to show you how to set up on delays and off delays. Um, again, very basic projects, but in order to use on delays and off delays using the memory bit, we can do multiple things with it. So, um, you know, definitely keep an eye out. So I hope these videos are helping you guys. Um, I hope you guys like seeing these videos um, over and over again, because um, this is, again, something new for me. I'm just trying to get more involved into it. So, you know, again, if you have any, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest videos. Um, I've got more code stuff coming out that I've been working on. I'm, you know, kind of in the editing process right now, but, um, you know, keep an eye out. I want to get this series out because it's, it's relevant to what I'm doing, um, you know, in my work life. So, you know, I want to kind of bring the information out there too. So hope this is helping you guys. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't hit, you know, uh, the notification bell, please hit the notification bell. So, you know, when I put new videos out, um, kind of doing things randomly, I'm hoping towards the end of the year, I'm going to get more consistent on certain days and stuff like that. But, you know, again, it's like everything else one day at a time. Right. So, if you can do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. And at the same time, I hope you guys all have a great, great weekend and have a great day and be safe.